In 1969, a new company appeared on the river which was to make its mark over the next decade. The company directors consisted of Don Hickman, Robert Crouch, David McGregor, Ron Ridley and Peter Sanderson. Catamaran Cruises Limited was founded to operate a river service with a brand new modern boat, the Ceresa. She operated between Greenwich and Hampton Court and was built in Great Yarmouth, had two 64 horsepower diesel engines and she was the largest catamaran boat in Europe at the time. She was built for both sightseeing service and private hire work, but after the first season, the Greenwich to Hampton Court service was stopped due to difficulties experienced under some of the bridges at certain states of the tide. In 1971, catamaran cruisers bought and rescued the Dunkirk veteran paddle steamer Princess Elizabeth. In this one move, Don Hickman had put all the company's eggs in one basket. It proved to be a big gamble, but Don convinced the other directors that she could be converted into a floating restaurant and moored at Swan Lane Pier. The Princess Elizabeth soon became a financial drain on the company, and she was to be beached at Queen Ive Dock in 1972 to have hull work carried out. In 1973, Catamaran Cruisers introduced their second private hire vessel, the Valula. A conventional vessel built at Point Wharf in Greenwich, yet much larger than Sarita. The Valula was to have a number of alterations to her looks over the years, from an enclosed vessel with a glass roof, to an enclosed top deck, and eventually to an open top deck sightseeing boat, as these photos show. In 1974, Catamaran Cruisers bought the Abercorn from Thames Launches, and in the same year, David Steele resigned from his position with Thames Launches and was appointed marketing manager for Catamaran Cruisers. In July 1980, Catamaran Cruisers had a third vessel built, this time by Cubo Limited at Woolwich and named Natisha. The Natisha became the flagship of the Catamaran Cruisers fleet, with her design being a departure from convention in that she was built with an upper deck overlooking a central balcony from which diners could look down onto the dance floor below. She was a twin hulled Catamaran design and sports an opening sunshine roof and bars on both decks. The company introduced a dinner theatre cruise on the Natisha every Sunday. Viceroy was withdrawn from service in 1980 for an extensive refit from which she emerged as a dual-purpose enclosed double-deck boat. She was put back into service for both sightseeing and party work. In 1981, Catamaran Cruisers sold their interest in Jackson Brothers to Tidal Cruises, together with the Viscountess. This gave Tidal Cruises a turn on the Westminster to Greenwich run. In 1983, Catamaran Cruisers bought three vessels from Greenwich Pleasurecraft. The Chevenin, the Pride of Greenwich, which would become the Pridella, and the Sydney Hull. These were run as private hire and party vessels by River Rides Limited. The Sydney Hull would later suffer a devastating fire whilst in dry dock in 1992, and she was sold to Crown River Cruises, who completely rebuilt the vessel, extending her length, and she was renamed the Salient. In 1985, the company bought the Eilina a small coaster type vessel which they used up until the late 1990s to supply beer and fuel to all of their vessels. Another vessel that Catamaran Cruises had built in the 1980s was the Katrina. She was a high speed launch that was capable of 28 knots and could carry 12 passengers in pure luxury. In 1987 the Princess Elizabeth paddle steamer was to be sold to Paris as an art gallery and replaced by another new floating venture, the Regalia. The regalia was built to appear as a traditional livery barge with its elegant decor and free decks. It was proved to be very popular with drinkers and diners alike, hosting dances and cabaret nights. In 1992, two of Catamaran Cruiser's largest vessels, Chevening and Valula, were transformed by having their top decks completely cut off and put back into service as sightseeing vessels only. In March 1992, Catamaran Cruisers were taken over by a French company, the Sodexo Group, and they created Bateau London to run as a separate side to the company on dinner and lunch cruises. In 1993, a new vessel arrived in London named Eiffel Star, a pointed all-glass dinner cruise vessel, and she would be renamed the Symphony. In May 1994, the Hydrospace Alpha arrived. She was an all-glass sightseeing vessel, and the success of the sightseeing business was shown upon the arrival of the Hydrospace Alpha. It caused passenger numbers to rise due to its sliding glass roof, allowing passengers to see a 360-degree view of London. 
Floodlit evening cruises were run in the summer on board the vessel and a drinks trolley service was also used. The success of this vessel prompted the arrival of two sister boats, the Hydrospace Beta and the Hydrospace Gamma, which also came from Paris. In 1996, two vessels in the catamaran cruisers fleet left the Thames. The 1902 built Viceroy was sold as a houseboat conversion at Hu Marina in Kent, where she still resides today and the original symphony returned to Paris and was replaced by a much larger all-glass vessel also named symphony. Also in 1996, the Natisha was to have a third hull fitted that made her into a trimaran vessel. This gave her better stability and she would also have a full interior refit during this time. Catamaran Cruiser's mooring barge, named Era, was used by the company up until 1999 when it was replaced with a brand new impressive mooring barge which was built at Denton in Gravesend. It was built from former cleanaway barges and the moorings had a built-in fuel tank and crew mess room and engineering workshops. In 2002 the company acquired yet another new vessel, the Hydrospace Delta, an all-glass trimaran vessel which was used on the circular cruise service operating from Westminster Pier on a 55 minute trip. This vessel replaced the Abercorn which was sold to B. Murphy and whilst on a slipway at Denton Wharf in 2005, she suffered a devastating fire and was completely burnt out. In 2008, the Abercorn was sold again and cut down to just a bare hull. In 2003, the Hydrospace Beta was returned to Paris under the request of the Sodexo Group. The downfall of Catamaran Cruisers came on the 1st of August 2007. The Sodexo Group announced that it planned to cease all operations with Catamaran Cruisers and concentrate solely on dinner and lunch cruises with Bateau London. On the 30th of September, Catamaran Cruisers ran the very last day of full sightseeing services, with all the company's vessels in service except for the Chevening and Pridella. All the pier turns and ticket boxes were taken over by Thames Clippers. 14th of November, all of the company's fleet were confirmed as being sold to the following. The Chevening went to Thames Cruises and was renamed River Princess. The Pridella to Cruise London and renamed Pride of London. The Valula to Reeds River Cruises. The Alpha, Gamma and Delta went to City Cruises and renamed the City Alpha, City Gamma and City Delta. The City Alpha and City Gamma would later be completely rebuilt into new vessels. Catamaran Cruises workboat, the Mark G, was sold to Cruise London and renamed the Benja. The Eilina was sold to Thames Craft Dry Docking at Greenwich in 2007 and then sold on again in 2010 to Thames Gateway Marine for use as a refuse vessel. In 2020, the Eilina was put up for sale on eBay and sold as a houseboat conversion at Chatham. In 2018, Bateau London would sell the Natisha to London Party Boats and she would be renamed the Jewel of London. Over the 38 years that Catamaran Cruisers were operating, the company employed a huge number of staff. Catamaran cruisers for some would become the start of their career on the River Thames and for others it would become a lifelong journey with generations of families working on the same boats as one another. Many friends were made and many good memories were made and although the company sadly no longer exists, for all those of lucky enough to have worked there, the company will always be fondly remembered. I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who has scanned photos and helped contribute to making this film one person in particular being Robert Crouch, one of the original founders and managing director at Catamaran Cruisers for 27 years, for his wealth of knowledge and to his family for all the help in making this film as historically accurate as possible. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and if you've got any subjects that you wish for me to talk about regarding the Thames, please comment below.